I'm Erin Hines for the Socionomics Institute. Today, I'm sitting down with Chuck Thompson, senior researcher at the Socionomics Institute and contributor to the monthly publication, The Socionomist. Now, Chuck, Brazil is having a hard time. Can you explain what's going on with the Brazilian president? We point out that Brazil's president, Dilma Rousseff, is a textbook study of the political and economic consequences of negative mood on formerly adored public figures. Brazil's highest court has investigated allegations that President Rousseff financed her 2014 campaign with donations from companies involved in a corruption scandal. She has also been investigated on charges of using state-owned banks to fill a budget shortfall. The lower house of Brazil's Congress recommended that she be impeached, and the Senate has now chosen a committee to investigate the charges against her. If she is forced to step aside, she will lose her political power and her ability to have any influence on her future prior to the beginning of a trial. There's more political scandal known as Aparaco Yavohato. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Operation Car Wash, as it's known in English, involves allegations that construction companies obtained lucrative contracts by paying large kickbacks to politicians and to executives of Petrobras, Brazil's state-owned oil company. Investigations associated with the scandal have resulted in the jailing of almost 40 politicians, business people, and black market money dealers. Prosecutors are also investigating the leaders of both chambers of Brazil's Congress, as well as Brazil's former president. Not only is Brazil having political issues, but it's also struggling with the financial side as well. Brazil is set to host the Summer 2016 Olympic Games, but recently cut $500 million from the budget. The Summer Games are set to open in August. Could we potentially see the Olympics move to another country, or even get canceled altogether? Finances are a major concern in Brazil. A Forbes article in February pointed out that Brazil is going broke even without paying for the Olympics. And there is concern that some of the venues won't be finished in time for the games. But the key concern is the uh, Zika virus outbreak in Brazil. People may avoid the summer games for fear of being infected by the disease which is spread by mosquitoes. Forbes encouraged the International Olympic Committee to move the games, postpone them, or cancel them. The summer games are less than four months away, and in February, Brazilian organizers reiterated that they have no intention of canceling what will be South America's first Olympics. Of course, what is most concerning, at least to me, is the disease outbreak of Zika. It's officially linked to infant mortality and microcephaly. Alan Hall, a colleague of yours at the Socionomics Institute, has written extensively about the relationship between negative social mood and epidemic diseases. Are we seeing an epidemic outbreak of Zika in Brazil? The World Health Organization says that Zika is spreading explosively. It could infect as many as four million people in the Americas. And a team of researchers recently pointed out that 2.17 billion people live in areas that are suitable for transmission of the Zika virus. In the December 2015 issue of The Sociotomist, Alan Hall said that Brazil's social mood and social hygiene situations bear watching especially closely as the 2016 Summer, Summer Olympics grow nearer because the Rio de Janeiro games may provide abundant disease vectors. If you're interested in subscribing to The Sociotomist, please visit the link below. Thanks for watching.